St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. Go, go, go! <laughs> on my way. Move your ass! I just wanted to, to get down in the, in the mud, too. I hope they get guns, but there's a chance that maybe we're not going to stay with this group. I mean, look how big this area is. But there's a chance we might not end up staying with this group. And we might have to get another camp, a fifth camp. But I don't know. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Yeah, I know my way around a bike. Or at least talking to mechanics. Four bikes. Open it up! Alright, Corey, what's gonna happen here? Every single fucking camp we've gone with has had something stupid happening with them. You're probably gonna have some bad shit going on too. Can you ride? Uh, yeah! Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? You're gonna have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. I can, very easily. Now, did you guys burn this place down, or... Was there a war? Was this place always a grungy, awful-looking place? What the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred, so that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. We got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. You what? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? I guess the freaks? No more. You've been out in the shit. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. We're gonna need We're gonna let you join. biological warfare. So, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. I thought maybe you were after something. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. But, uh, you, hey, you know, if you've ever seen, seen the woman in the picture before, who used to have the ring that you have, uh, let us know. This is it. Maybe the Colonel will know more about it. Oh, I don't trust this militia. Now oh, you guys burn the corpses? Why? Oh, oh, the captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. At six o'clock, kid. You find something? Uh, how long is uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Well, at least we're gonna show ourselves it's pretty reliable. It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. So, do you guys burn the bodies? So, uh, okay, there, Captain. Oh my God. Captain, just roll, Captain! Captain, roll! <laughs> You're gonna burn your fresh digs! Jesus, man! 
What the fuck? Now he's got burns all over him. They'll go away, because that obviously wasn't meant to happen. But, okay, do you guys burn the body so the Freakers don't eat him? I don't know if the Freakers actually would care about that. Okay, glad to find a door. Being pretty unlocked, don't want to sit here and, uh, show him that we can unlock things. Oh, it's a dog toy! Aww. I don't know why the hell I need that. But maybe I can bring that over to Jack okay. at some point. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations? Ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half-eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. And he could still be in the area waiting for... Wait, over here. Oh, he jumped over this. The fence has been cut. Rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. You know, we drove away and came back. This guy really could have just completely booked it. On foot! Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Ew. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. What was that sound? That doesn't look like humans. This way. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, we're, we're tracking tracks, but still. Wait, 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 hold up. You find something? Yeah, he, he shot case. some stuff. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Maybe it was a freaker. Maybe it was... another rager. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Is it infected? No. Doesn't look like it. Um, come on, I want to take a look at that deer carcass. Well, maybe he'll run away if we Go approach on. it. Get out of here! Skedaddle! What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? <laughs> look out! More wolves! <laughs> that ever worked out? I, you know, I thought maybe we could we could That's spook it off. Okay, I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. <laughs> I'm glad you're, uh, making you got, all these... got a lot of wolves out here. Ones my guess aren't is... infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Well, they don't... <laughs> they don't have to worry about being hunted down terribly often. Well, at least not until we, uh... start taking back the planet from the Freakers. This guy must have been pretty busy. Maybe he's dead? Yeah, he killed a wolf. He's still around. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're showing Corey that we might be way more competent than your typical drifter, and that could bite us in the ass. Too far from Corey. Keep your ass up, Captain, sir. <clears throat> uh oh. I don't like the sound of that. Holy... Nero Graves. Fuck! Yeah, well maybe that explains why, uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. What the fuck? What the hell is with that? 
Yeah, right yeah. There with you. Yeah, sorry, I'm just staring at this little horde swarm here. I gotta say, I get tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. But look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? It does. Okay, uh, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them it's just in this part of the state alone. We've got to start somewhere. Well, maybe uh, we should just kill the freakers now. rather than deal with the the things they go after. I don't hey, know how we're going to do so. It's going to be a long battle. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay, come on. Let's see where they're heading. Well, if you guys have been dealing with marauder attacks, then is maybe there is buddies. The freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. And like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. Great. People. The Colonel will fill you in if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, yeah it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Wow, oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. And if he's got a bunch of buddies here, who are all marauders, I think we're going to have to fight them all no matter what. That's the strategy. Shoot them. Shoot them all. I like that, uh... uh I like that our first mission here is just going to show how super effective we are right in front of the captain. We're going to have to, like, straight up battle an entire group. And you know how it is. We're probably gonna end up killing the vast majority of these people right in front of this guy. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, boss, oh, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red arm band? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> All right. We, we, he's, he, we've got a point. We're not a part of their group just yet. Clear all. Clear the camp of all marauders. Alright, I don't know if I should go loud, but... Shacks, shut up tight. Windows are all boarded up. You stay behind me. You give me cover if you have to. This is how it goes down. Got him. My suppressor broke! Got him. Think we're just gonna have to go out. I'm trying to like listen to the conversation that Vasquez is trying to have with the woman, but uh. I, got him. I think we gotta be a little bit distracted here. How many men? Got him. Oh, this thing needs a range upgrade. Holy shit. Come 
Move up on him! Oh, all right, I can't go through there. Um, I gotta go a long way around then. Can't climb normal fences, uh. What you running for? You're not Cory. You're not Cory either. Ooh, had him distracted. I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Is she taunting him? What, what's going on in there? I want to find her just, like, kicking his ass. Because, I mean, at this point, he should have heard us firing our guns, and... Uh, if not, he's a moron. Uh, I just thought they were shooting in celebration for me getting, you know, being the rapist. Yeah. Because that happens. We're marauders. It's just what happens. We accept that awful part of each other. Well, not anymore, friend. And I don't think we're gonna hang him. He's probably just gonna get shot right here. All tiles are set up. What about pipe bombs? Deed gunpowder. Ugh. Maybe I'll start getting gunpowder a little bit more often down here. Jesus. Okay, let's find a, a back entrance. Because my marker's pointing away from me. I mean, when everyone's dead... <laughs> Can't I just be a little bit more aggressive with the door? I doubt he, like, locked it. Jeez. I need some privacy for this act. Yeah, guys. Okay. Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? Of course. He won't know what hit him. <laughs> He's already dead. She's, she's stabbing him in the dick. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I'm not going to. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Clearly. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? I mean, you should. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's for your own survival. We we still have guns, and you have a knife. Uh, you you don't want to fuck with that. What the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez, dead. Oh, way done. Stabbed in the dick. Didn't even uh, didn't even have to do anything ourselves. Figured something was going on in there that she was probably able to Captain fight back Corey, a good bit. Come in. Captain Corey. Corey. There you go. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been uh, uh neutralized. <laughs> neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come on. Wow, you guys brought a lot of forces here. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Yeah, thank you. That was gonna be a hard ass. 
I need to see you a little bit more in action. Your insubordination speaks a lot to me. Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? The Colonel's such a dramatic name. Colonel so what? John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. Yeah. <laughs> so, where did you serve? Marines? Army? We try not to talk about it, you know? First year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Oh shit. I want to see a day's gone in like New York something. or some other huge town. Huge city. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Are we gonna bond? This is a chance for us to be like, yeah, you know what? Being straight with you, Corey. I'm looking for my wife, and you're wearing my goddamn ring that I gave her. You never know, maybe communication would let us, uh... This would be a great time for us to just straight up have that bonding moment about our wives, have him on our side, rather than trying to do everything behind the scenes and get caught and then to have whatever torturous thing ends up happening. But fine, whatever, we don't trust him yet. Are we going into flashback? We're going into fucking flashback. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know... Making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. <laughs> All right, this has to be... What? Pre-wedding? Ah, our, our flashbacks. Going all over the damn place. We don't got a ring on our fingers, so I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm seeing that. We also don't have the Nomad patch on so my... So, where are we going? My back, my, or my just back follow here. the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. So why is there a sign that says no trespassing? And yet there's stuff built here. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be built for other people, or maybe this stuff was what built beforehand. I don't know. Was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw pipe. I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. Yeah, that's, that's one reason why it wouldn't be possible. 
What about our, our, our mom? The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Ooh, oh, ouch. Oh, 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 wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but <laughs> we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. I mean, this is a classic case of, like, two very different worlds coming oh, together here. Way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Oh, and stop. I mean, I really do have to get over a bit more. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project. I mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec. And... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. But I clearly do. I'm sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. No, no, tell anyway, us more! Thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah. No problem. Hey, do you like all the fireflies? I feel they're super romantic until they fly into your face. Then you have to look at them and go, Oh God! Oh, these are scary. Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Pot farm. No trespassing. Is this you dragged me out our pot farm? Night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, DQ, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Is there some really fantastic view at the end of all this? She's made no comments on how romantic it is for there to be all these fireflies yeah, perfectly flying around. You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. I'm amused that Deacon's like a super troll about all this, though. Oh my god. god look at that moonlight. It is. It's so beautiful. Fucking moonlight? Keep going. Look uh, at the sky! There. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? <laughs> depressing. I mean, the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. There you go. I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big <laughs> difference. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we speak? Be rational about this. <laughs> okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Like five bucks. Okay, see, there Maybe ten bucks. Again. Maybe twenty. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... I want to show you this really cool area. I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. I feel like we've been in this exact oh. area by accident. Oh, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, okay, the second one. The second one is that you never leave me. 
Failed that promise. <laughs> God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little bangs, just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, uh, it's... Morier Invictus. <sighs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me, like, a real ring, though, right? But not that this one's <laughs> not Absolutely, great. because, I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Yeah. Right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. No, she's being called into work. Well, it's a good thing that you didn't go I'm to sleep. Sorry. Hmm, it's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute, like th at this time of night. I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. All right, all right, all right. We didn't get to spend too much time at our nice little area. I am glad that we're we're able to see a lot of aspects of the relationship. It's taken a long fucking time for it to occur. I would have been fine with a lot of this progression, maybe a little bit earlier, before we're like, man, we really need to hunt for Sarah, because, okay, I care for, for Sarah a little bit more now, right? After all these different flashbacks. But at the beginning of the fucking game, when it was like, man... She's dead. And I'm saying like, I don't even know the lady. I don't know anything about her. I don't know anything about her personality. I don't know anything about like the relationship at all or Deacon's past. That's a lot to just throw us into the middle of that situation. And it's taking us a long time to really do anything about it. Is My this... wife's name was uh, Beth. Beth! No, I don't have a pick. Fucking lies. I think he's going to catch on that. Let's go. It's like, oh, Beth, huh? It's gonna turn out that Corey knows Sarah directly, and Sarah has been talking about her amazing biker husband, Deacon St. John, and it's gonna, this is gonna ring bells, and we're gonna be like, oh yeah, Beth! <laughs> what the fuck, Superior Mace? Whoa! Higher damage? Better durability. I'm down. Sweet. How many things are in this area anyways? We've got two ambush camps, two infestations, two checkpoints, five research sites? Holy shit. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Because I did... <laughs> See, like, earlier I mentioned that, like, when I looked up IPCA tech, and the location of uh, the near injectors. I did get a little bit of spoilers, and the spoilers were that there's an entire other fucking region. So I knew at that point, okay, there's this entire south area that all of the injectors are going to be down here, but I thought maybe it was going to be a little cheeky about it and try and hide some of the research stations from us. But no, no there's just, there's just that, there's a lot of them. I'm sorry, what's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, the photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. Yeah, depending on your lifestyle, you really don't need a cell phone. We have this base in the middle of the lake. Maybe this base is gonna be the one that has the... the guns in it. I see another merchant icon. 
Anyways, I want physical photos of, of, of a lot of things too. I don't- I think there's probably a lot of ways to get physical photos without having to have like, Ah, my- My wife's dad was a photographer and had a dark room. Let's go to Walmart, print the pictures out, man, come on.